Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. We are going to have a look at gold. It's a very important analysis as far as the swings are concerned. So we're going to look at whether which way is the major swing going on. And I believe me, if you are trading gold, the only reason I'm uh, sharing is that okay some uh, one else who can take benefit of the trend analysis why not so this is not your normal analysis if you want to make money I ensure you just pay a little attention and you know what I'm talking about so first of all if on a larger scale let's give you let's have a look what's happening so for now we still are not sure that the correction actually started from this top is finished or not all right there's a huge talk going on we could be finished we could not be finished right over here there's a both possibilities exist and so far we have not seen any clear clarification we have not seen any proof and the proof in terms of proof you can say we have not seen prices coming down of this important support line if prices fall below of this important support line then we can build a case that okay maybe there is a possibility that there is prices are heading all the way down to the to create a a double bottom with this bottom or to create a double bottom with this one or this one so so far we haven't seen anything so if we are open right now at the moment we are both open we are open on the both counts that correction could be or could not be complete so therefore it's two I uh, will start to zoom in on our analysis and that's this analysis starting from this top so as seen from this top this is absolutely no uh, if you are if you are uh, have been uh, uh, trading using Elliott wave analysis and then you can clearly see that this is not an impulsive behavior starting from this top still because it has taken a lot of time and we have seen a lot of zigzags and a lot of uh, deep web price values now I'm interested bringing an interesting point first of all the support line that you're seeing in front of you is is giving an important sub, uh, indication and this important support line on four hourly chart is also giving an important indication let's have a look first of all lots of people are using this support line starting from this top to the middle right all over here and we can see this is not a valid uh, uh, support line even I was myself was using the reason because we only have two points we need a third point to get a confirmation of this support line so so far we cannot use this support line what happens after that I'm not saying anything if you consider a, a support line starting from this top then there is a validation we have seen one two and three points on it and then we can see a fourth point prices falling off from the top as well so this is a very very good support line as far as the top trend is concerned not from here but right from here as well so we have a support line not as good as supposed to be but still much better than the two point support line on a four hourly chart if you have drawn a support line and it's also giving us good touch points so we first one is right over here second one is right over here and the third one and the fourth one right over here fifth one and we are right around the sixth one so it's not actually we are not exactly sure that sixth one would happen or the prices would penetrate actually I am sure about the what prices are gonna be but as for right now looking at prices we cannot say so my point of view here right now is that the sentiment for gold is absolutely bullish now if you look at uh, and YouTube is a good example you look at YouTube and almost every single analyst out there is telling people that gold is gonna go high and you know this was a major bottom but I have good news for the people who most on this this bottom and who, for people who are actually interested on in selling gold I have good news for them too and that is that we it looks like that we have hardly completed a correction starting from this bottom and you can consider it as an a b c correction for example wave a b and then wave c correction in which wave c is much elongated as compared to wave a this does happen and lots of people are considering it as a wave one and two but i i disagree i disagree looking at a, a particular uh, analysis in terms of support and resistance Another important point is right 1916 also seems to be the top of previous <coughs> high so prices actually went on touched the top and then reflected 
you can also see that this from this bottom prices went on went into this region clearly got refused they saw a huge price dog one and then gone for a support right at the top from previous top so this is kind of story in the storytelling that the prices got refused in this area came over they didn't like this region as well so first support it was not a good news if it has gone further down but the point here is that it's right now jumping from this support and this support so we need to be really uh, worried about this and i personally believe that we have already seen the top occurring right here for the swing that's going to be down right over here all right let's have a look at the price target and price target i'm saying is that we already have seen a price target right over here prices went off so the next target would be this one support area so 1442 1450 is a good area where i'm looking at the price swing to come down and if you look at the <clears throat> if you look at the uh, the stop loss the stop loss is hardly at 1915 if you want to put it over here so we are hardly 40 dollars away and this is going to be an extremely extremely good uh, trading setup and i hope that lots of people will be able to take advantage of it let's have a look i want to see how much in terms of percentage it is so let's say that you don't even actually enter right over here you're waiting for this prices to get here let's say okay and then the price would be let's say you want for another you waiting for another twenty dollars break in that case still it will be one ratio seven this is the uh, risk to profit ratio for the trading setup that I'm inviting you to on to join me in so this is a very very good trading setup similarly I am bearish on euro I believe that we are going to see a good uh, price movement for euro I'm bearish on silver I'm bearish on other commodity pairs uh, I mean uh, forex pairs that includes British pound and Canadian dollar and I believe that uh, US dollar is going to be strengthening in uh, next um, three four months right and we'll see a, we'll see a price movement going in other directions in other pair that includes gold silver euro british pound canadian dollar let's have a look at uh, euro there's a very famous uh, if you have not seen it there's a very good uh, analysis I'm saying was made uh, using cycle and uh, cycle analysis cycle theory and that is that uh, we were thinking that the prices uh, did reflect over here from previous for somewhere around 1997 and even further down so this is a very good swing but it looks like Joro is gonna behave differently this time and I'll it looks to me that the price of euro is going to be very interestingly in next month and I'm expecting that a swing downward is going to happen all right how deep again again this could go in this area is but right now we have not seen a major a new high in this swing we have not seen new high passing this high so this giving me an indication that if we see strength if we see strength coming back in US dollar which we are seeing right now with my study on gold is indicating then we already have kind of seen support uh, getting broken there's a possibility that we might see a swing upward but I don't think so it's gonna happen so this is a major I uh, think I'm rec right now expecting in euro a similar pattern is has also developed in Canadian dollar and in British pound so I'm expecting a similar price action as well here you guys can see that price went up came down up so I'm expecting that the British pound the next larger swing in British pound is going to be down right over here there's a possibility we might not see a new low but that's what the price is expecting that trend the direction of the main trend would be downward I hope you enjoyed the analysis thank you so much have a good one and enjoy bye bye